Hi, welcome to Mosmatic. My name is Jamie Sikalski, and today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over one of our high pressure cleaning accessories, the Hurricane Undercarriage Cleaners. We get asked a lot of different questions as to what's the advantage, disadvantage, uh, features and benefits of the unit. We're gonna take the time to kind of go over what application suits your needs best and give you a brief description of each unit as well. So what we have here is our standard Hurricane. It's a 21 inch low. That meaning it's our basic standard unit, which has a deck height of about six inches. We offer this in 21 inch and 30 inch, which is gonna be good for your larger vehicles, such as tour buses um, that have a nice large area for your 30 inch. Also going into your standard sedans, sports cars, things of that nature. Also what we'll do later is we'll show you, for the cars that have a lot lower ride height, like your Corvettes and your custom vehicles, just kinda how to pitch them up so you're able to properly clean underneath that vehicle. Moving over here, we have the Hurricane High Lift, which comes in at a deck height at about eight and a half inches. So that's gonna fit under most of your SUVs, your crossovers, your larger commercial vehicles. The nice part about it is your larger commercial vehicles, the axles and the pumpkins are gonna be a little bit over that height. So you're gonna have a full cleaning view or full cleaning operational area without any obstruction. Then what we have here is we have our Hurricane Pro Series. This is only offered in a 21 inch version. What we've done here is I brought out the 80.618, which is the Hurricane Pro that has the low pressure chemical injection on it. We'll show you the advantages of that later on down in the, in the program. This one will also have that same eight and a half inch deck height, but it does come with the featured benefit of six adjustable <coughs> ranges to where you can lay it down or bring it all the way up for a 90 degree cleaning on there. All of the units are offered in stainless steel with protection covers to protect against debris as well as a safety feature to the unit. What I've done is I've brought a few of the replacement items that you would consider for your Hurricane undercarriage cleaner under normal operation and use. First is gonna be a precision machine 304 stainless steel rotor arm. This is the one that comes on our 21 inch units as it's a two nozzle versus the 30 inch units will have a three arm version. All the Hurricanes will come with a DYF series swivel, which is 4,000 PSI, 250 degree temp, and you can run chemicals pH three to 12 through them as well. Another standard is gonna be our high pressure trigger gun. Under prolonged use and operation, what's gonna happen is your hand's gonna get a little bit of tired or fatigue. So with the low trigger force, you can literally hold it back with your pinky finger. Then moving on to the nozzles, the eighth inch mag nozzles are standard on our low versions. Really important is you wanna make sure that you match them up to your pressure washer so you get maximum performance out of your Hurricane. Same goes for the high lift versions. The Venturi housing, you may need to replace uh, if something were to damage the unit, but more importantly, it's gonna be the insert nozzle. Again, just make sure that this is matched to your pressure washer so you get the best performance out of your Hurricane undercarriage cleaners. What we have here is we have the Hurricane Pro with chemical injection on it. It's one of the high lift versions, and what you'll see is the deck height on this versus the standard high lift is the same. The advantage on this unit is it has a six-way adjustable deck. However, what you'll see on the larger fleet vehicles is the deck height still gives you easy movability underneath the chassis of the vehicle without any real obstructions under there. Where I was mentioning on the six-way adjustable deck, when you come along the side of a vehicle such as this, you can get the nice cl high cleaning height on it. But when you work underneath the chassis of a vehicle, you'll see that in the frame areas. In that C channel, you're gonna see componentry that's tucked in there, fuel lines, air lines, hydraulic componentry. So this will give you a different angle to be able to sweep through and clean more than just straight up underneath where you're really missing that inner area. Moving around back to the airlines and the, the pumpkin area, we're going to be able to drop this down nice and easy. And if you'll come around the back of that tire there, you'll be able to see, even coming in from the side here, I'm able to easily get underneath the entire drive line of this vehicle. What I'll also show you is on this one here, it has the chemical draw or for salt neutralizers or degreasers. This is gonna be able to let you go in and kind of pre-treat so that when you come back and wash, you're able to pull off all that extra debris.
earlier what we did is we went through and gave you brief examples of the difference between a standard hurricane and a hurricane high lift. So what we also want to do is show you the difference in the spray pattern between the two as that's effectively what's cleaning your chassis. What we're going to do is we're going to be heading outside to show you the performance aspects of the Hurricane Low along with the Hurricane High Lift. But to do that, what I did is I got a nice piece of plywood here. And just to give you an idea of the weight, it comes in at 14.05 pounds. That's going to be important to show you the amount of force and lift it's going to have so that you understand really the type of application or the performance you're getting underneath the chassis of your vehicle. All right, now before we get started with the demonstrations, what we want to do is stress safety. So as you'll see, Jordan and I are both wearing eye protection. It's not just because of the water stream coming out, but it's all that loose debris that's going to come down off of the chassis. That will get flung up by the arms of the water spray, but then also to protect the unit from the debris falling down, causing premature damage on it. Again, safety is always a number one concern when using any high pressure equipment. What we're using right now is a 3500 PSI machine with four gallons a minute on a Hurricane Standard using the factory uh, number three tips in here. Just for an example to show you what that impact height is going to be. As we did on the Hurricane Standard, we're going to do the Hurricane Pro with the same 3500 PSI, four gallons a minute, with two number three nozzles in it. What we're going to be doing for our demonstrations is we're going to be using four gallons a minute at 3500 PSI with two number three nozzles in the unit. Now I understand it's a little larger, but this is more for your commercial size items, but to give you the feel of what it's going to have as far as damage underneath your chassis. So as you can see right here, Getting within a few inches of the nozzle, it didn't tear the foam apart. This is going to replicate your electrical components, your hoses, and just other items that will be found under your chassis that need to be cleaned. So what we're going to do now is use the Hurricane High Lift. One of the large differences between the two, obviously, is the height of the unit, but the type of nozzling that we use. And it's a, a Venturi-style nozzle that we offer in all of our High Lifts as a standard, and it's going to change the cleaning impact zone from a couple inches to feet. Now, part of that nozzle technology is it takes a zero degree cutting pattern, aerates it and gives it more of a punch with a better impact along with that rotational agitation on the chassis. As you see, what we did is we took it out about where a normal chassis height is on one of your fleet vehicles. And again, just like on the other unit, you don't have that damaging impact. Now you see I took it down a little bit lower and you can see that pattern starting to come across here. That's going to be more for on your SUVs, uh, your larger style pickups. So you can see this type of unit is going to be good on all your major fleet style, or for all your major fleet style services. During the demonstration you saw the advantage of using the soap chemical draw for salt neutralizers, degreasers, and as I had mentioned earlier, soaps. This is the only unit, the 80.618, that has it as a standard option. However, we do have an upgrade kit. It's part number 80.9011. This is going to consist of the draw block, the upper forks, the gun, and the bypass hose system right here. What this allows you to do is even take our standard Hurricane undercarriage cleaner up to our standard high lift undercarriage cleaner or even adding it to the standard high Hurricane Pro so that all different versions can get the low pressure draw upgrade kit. Maybe it wasn't advantageous at your first purchase, but it is something you can always add in the future. Earlier in the video, we went over and showed you a bunch of different vehicle types. And I just want to give you a recap on the sales or just kind of the benefits to you. I like to ask people, when is the last time you've seen a vehicle rust from the top down? Truth of the matter is most of your working componentry is underneath that vehicle. 
That's where a lot of your rust and corrosion comes from. That's where your most of your serviceable items are. And then also for the safety and value of your service technicians to keep things from dropping down into their eyes, ears, nose, and mouth. So hopefully you've been able to just give you that value. And should you need any other information or have questions, please feel free to contact us at mosmatic.com or one of our authorized dealers. Thank you.